Today's been another exciting day. It's always an adventure in the life of one elder. You're probably looking at me thinking, does she have a black eye? Has she been scratched and tortured? I have. Am I abused and battered? I am. Not by a human, by a petty cat. This morning, an orange cat shows up in the neighborhood. I've seen this cat before. I don't know whose it is, but it stands across the street from our house and challenges my cat to come out. So what does... We opened the door to listen for the school bus, and there goes Petey. And right then, I thought, drama shall follow, because cats are dramatic. So, Petey goes out there, and it's hissing and meowing, and Petey's full force into his signature meow. So, Natalie's like, I gotta get Petey Cat. He's gonna get hurt. And I was like, get Petey Cat, yeah. So, she brings him in. We shut the door. He's growling. He's carrying on a sight. Now, when I was a young girl and dogs would fight or cats would fight, my parents would be like, don't get near him. They'll eat you up. Just let them have it out. You know, that's just nature. And I did. And that was a very valuable lesson that I should have learned when I was a young child. But no, I gotta push the limits on everything. So, Petey's growling and I pick him up and I'm like... Oh, you mommy's baby, and I'm loving him, and I've got him kind of up in my face, and I'm caressing him. He's still doing the... <laughs> He's never turned on me. Petey has never hurt me. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the cat chomps into my head with his teeth and starts boxing me. I mean, we was full out Mike Tyson. He whacked me in the face with his paw. Can you all see that right there? He got me down here. There's scratches right... <clears throat> Like, you can't see. Anyway, there was blood coming from my head. I threw him down on the ground, and I went at it with him. It, we were like two cats fighting in my living room. And I thought, get it together, Winnell. This is an animal here. What are you doing? So, anyway, that was, that's why I look like I've been in a backyard brawl. I have with my house cat. I think he's in here right now. He knows I'm talking about him. No, he's not. That must have been Coochie Poochie. Anyway, my husband has this wild hair up his ass right now that he's going to make homemade butter or homemade cream or something. And I want to give props to his sister for giving him the idea because he's up in the Pinterest at the Walmart today saying, I know how to do this. He's buying heavy whipping cream and buttermilk powder or something. I was like, what are you? Number one, boy, we on Weight Watchers and I'm pretty sure you can have that. I don't know if you can hear that humming in the background. It sounds like I'm in a garage making this video right now. But that, I'm going to go in there and show you what my husband's doing. He is, oh, and if y'all are concerned about my orchid, she's still beautiful. Oh, she looks a little wilty. That's okay. She's, she's beautiful. And after all the comments i seen, I now know that that's really not a blue orchid. That's been infused with color, and it's going to come back white. And I've accepted that. I threw my receipt away. I'm not returning it. But I want you to look what's going on in my kitchen right now. My husband, Paula Dean, over here. What are you doing, Gary? Making some homemade butter because I can't find them. So can you have that homemade butter on the Weight Watchers? You cooked corn today, and I wanted air corn, but I didn't have no homemade butter, so I'm, I'm making some. I'll probably never cook corn again, not until the summer. I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of butter. If you're in the southern Illinois area and you're looking for butter, I think we may have a few pounds of it here in the next hour or so. If it's already starting. I, it's already starting, is it? Mm -hmm. it? Looks like foam to me. Looks like you up in the Starbucks whipping up a latte. Dump some of that on some coffee. I bet it'd be delicious. Put you some Splenda in it and stir it up. They probably like homemade butter, too. 